right. Well, hey, everybody. It's Grim Green from GrimGreen.com back here today. Sorry for uh, last week. There wasn't a lot of videos, but we're back here. Mech Mod Monday. What I have to talk to you about today. Get ready for it. Oh, it's a Mech Mod. This is the Petri from Dot Mod. Oh, it's just, uh, well, it's just beautiful. This is, uh, this is one of those Mech Mods that got me excited about Mech Mods again, just because of the fit and finish of it, because it's so well, beautifully crafted and put together, but in order to get to know it just a little bit better, we're going to go up close, as we always do, for a quick, short, uppy closey time. All right, yeehaw, we're gonna spend a little bit of up close and personal time here with the Petri by Dot Mod. I got it all disassembled, and the first thing I wanna start off with is the top of the mod. So this is the black version. I don't know if this is anodized, powder coated something, whatever, the finish on it is really, really nice. It's black with gold accents. It has a, uh, a uh, pardon me, I was gonna say spring loaded, but it has a floating center pin. These are gold plated, 24 karat gold plated copper contacts. And you actually get a couple of these and they're all different sizes. So when I first discovered, oh, these are all different sizes thing, I was kind of like, ugh, that, that could be a hassle. You know what I mean? That could be a, a bummer to have to switch out these pins every time you want to change your atomizers. Uh, that's not really the case. Nine times out of 10, the one I'm using is the smallest one. These are all marked and I'm not going to be able to show this on video, but this is the smallest one because there's one stripe on it. Do you see the three stripes on this one? That's the longest one. And then there's one with two stripes on it, which is just a little bit shorter. Really, this is just to fine tune the way that your mod fits together. So if I go back to the one that I have been using, this is the one I predominantly use. This has one little stripe on it. All you do is pop this in the bottom, just like that, and it's pressure fit, and it actually stays in there really well. So if you were to turn it upside down, or you were to pull your battery out, it's not really going anywhere. You have to press it in, and pop it back out. There's a little bit of slight pressure, so it actually does stay in there pretty well. But the joy of that is, like I said, this is just to fine tune the way that your mod all fits together. The a base has the biggest adjustment of, uh, of the mod itself. See this little, uh, oh, there's a hair on it. That was gross. This is the base right here, of course, with the, uh, with the switch taken out. But the battery sits, let me see if you can see this. See how this is spring-loaded? This little Delrin base is spring-freaking-loaded. This, this right here is a great way to adjust for battery rattle. Here's the switch, here's the spring. The switch does have some very nice fine line engraving on there that just feels oh so nice and smooth. So if we were to put this together, those are your vent holes right there, where in the event of a catastrophic battery failure, that's where your, uh, that's where things would vent outward. So you put the button in there. See how the switch has all these cutouts on it for your, for your finger to sort of rest in. I'm gonna take my contact again, gold-plated uh, brass contacts. I'm gonna screw that into the switch. I'm gonna make sure that that's nice and snugified in there. I don't know why I just said snuggified. That's that's the first time I've ever said it. Last time I'll ever say it. There's your switch all together. You can see it kind of protrudes out the bottom. It's just from top to bottom. It's a very beautiful, beautiful mod. Black with gold accents. It does come in full 24 karat gold, which is a little expensive. And it does come in stainless steel, which is uh, around the same price as this one. But more on that after this. There's your switch right there. It just sort of glides up and down. You can press it anywhere you want and it just glides up and down. It just feels very, very nice. So your battery fits on that sort of spring-loaded Delrin base, and your top cap adjusts automatically up to your atomizer. So let's take a real quick look at the atomizer before we put this whole thing together. So this was the first dot mod atomizer that I got. And this one, although it does have a build on it, it's not wicked, so I can show you the, uh, I can show you the base a little bit better comes with its own chuff styled top cap, uh, drip top, but this uh, fits on other atomizers, but other chuff tops 
do not fit on uh, on the dot mod just because of the way it's it's built and uh, things like that. Let me try to grab another chuff. Let's grab this this clear one. Actually, I bet this clear one will fit. Nope, the clear one won't fit. So the inside of Atomizer has like that lip right there. And this, nope. Other chuff caps, other chuff style. Let me grab an authentic chuff here. You see that gap right there? It won't seat all the way down there. It's just barely, barely resting on those O-rings. So with the dot mod, only there chuff style top cap will uh, will fit on there but with that said it does fit on there and it fits on there very nice two big three millimeter airflow holes on either side kind of reminds me a little bit of the original tugboat it's a nice airflow there's your deck right there it's two posts and that's just kind of the build that i've had on this one but you can see in the post holes there's two uh you know post holes in each post so you can kind of I don't know, get a little bit creative with the way you build. This is just a center post. What I like doing about this build is you can kind of fill the base with cotton, drip right down into the middle, and it will disperse, you know, evenly. It will get to the coils. It will get where it needs to go. This is just using 24 gauge canthal. The deck itself is a peak insulated material, but, uh, but yeah, the fit and finish on these is all really nice. The way this all fits together, you just line up your airflow holes with your coils it fits down on there nice it's nice and snug put your drip top on it's nice and snug so the one that came afterward is this one which is very very similar but uses a traditional style drip tip uh, uses a traditional style drip tip in there so i'm just going to throw this on there and this part does actually come off if i'm uh, if i'm strong enough like that so if you wanted to you could use their drip top put it on there just like that just fits actually that's that's a little bit loose i wonder if another chuff will fit on there there's got to be a better way no nope, other chuffs still don't fit on there interesting so yeah traditional drip tip style that's the build i have on there that's a 24 gauge anarchist wire and you see how i just created kind of like a bed of cotton in there you just drip right in the middle soaks right up to the coils let me pop this part off so you can see the build a little bit better. I just wanted to I wanted to show you the other atomizer so you can see the do, the two posts and the post holes because this one's all built up with uh, with cotton. This is 24 gauge anarchist wire, like I said, but it's got a nice you can see it's got a nice deep juice well. It's easy to build on. So uh, so yeah. So let's put this all together. So when I put this atomizer on here, you know what? I might actually pop this one out. And go for the twofer. Go for the two sized. Go for a little bit longer. I just want to make sure that that's going to be touching the bottom of the atomizer, which I believe it does. That one, uh, yeah, that one for sure is going to be touching. See how it doesn't quite go in all the way? Now, some atomizers have longer center posts, some will have shorter center posts. This one has a uh, Eh, it doesn't really stick out that often. I wouldn't throw this dot mod atomizer on any sort of hybrid mods. I would definitely use use a use a mech mod that has a top cap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a pin. I'm going to stick it in there just like that. I know that's going to be making a good connection. I can just tell. I grab my battery. I'm going to put this onto the tube, and the tube itself is a tube. It looks like a tube. It feels like a tube. It feels nice and sturdy. It's 22 millimeters around. You can kind of see the great fit and finish on here. All the threads are really nice. See the black on black with the gold accent? Oh, I think that just looks beautiful. Throw my sub-ohm cell in there. I'm going to put this bottom switch on the bottom, and I can start to feel some resistance, like right about there, but that spring-loaded Delrin little you know, stand that the battery fits on is going to take up the rest of the slack. Oh yeah, that's just, it's just feels beautiful, fits together really nice. I'm not going to hit the fire button because I do have fresh cotton on here. But what I'm going to do is I am going to juice this and uh, yeah, then we're going to get back out to normal view and vape this thing. Also real quick, sorry, I want to talk about how fantastical their dot mod drip tips are. And I use these drip tips on damn near everything I have. They're pressure fit, it's Delrin, it's aluminum I believe. 
super nice big wide bore it fits on this atomizer specifically really really well it fits on a lot of other atomizers the tugboat really 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 well i end up using their drip tips on damn near everything i have i just uh, i just like them i like the height i like how wide they are and i like how they fit on everything and it just fits just beautifully so that right there is a completed oh look how nice it's just black with gold accents that dot mod atomizer that dot mod drip tip you just dump your juice in there now we will get back out to normal view normal view normal view so yeah that's the dot mod petri up close and personal i just I can't get over how beautiful this mech mod is. Now I've been using this for a couple of months now. The original one they sent me was the uh, was the gold, uh, you know, the 24 karat gold one. Shoot, nah. Where are you? This one. Yes, it's just as beautiful. It's just as nice. It's just as beautiful. It's just as nice. It's got the same style button. And when they first sent me this, it had a spring-loaded center pin, but I ended up not being able to build very low on it. And so what they're doing now is these is these smaller pins, which work, which just works fantastic. But it's got the same design, the same stylings, the same beautiful, beautiful, glidey, switchy button on there. And when I saw the black one, I just, I just melted. The black with the gold accents, the black atomizer, the golden drip tip it's just freaking beautiful I just love using it additionally you don't have to to rock this petri on here but you know what I'm gonna you don't have to rock this atomizer on here I'm just gonna leave this on here for the meantime because it looks so great I'm gonna have a toot on it the airflow is nice on this atomizer kind of reminds me if the uh, tugboat v1 was a little just a touch just a a little bit more open airflow it would feel like this feels nice works great it's got that interesting unique deck that you can build on it's really I mean it's really super easy to build on lately I've been rocking it with this I got a uh, oops I'm gonna have to switch out the pins on this I forgot that that tugboat has an extra long center post do you see that gap right there so here's how we remedy this situation in case you really wanted to see me fumble around for another couple of minutes just to change out my atomizer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the one with one. One with one. The one with one. The shortest of the, uh, the, shortest of the pins. So when I put this on there, oh, yep, yeah, that's going to be perfect. That's going to be perfect. Oh yeah, all fits together so nice. So that's a Tugboat version one with the matte black slam cap on there and then an additional drip tip. If you take this off, look at that. Look how cool that is on there. I'm gonna put this drip tip back on there. Same thing, I know it's gonna fire. Like I know for sure it's gonna fire because I put the correct center pin in there and you don't have to do that a lot. Most of the atomizers these days come with long center pins, so you end up using the same center pin. If your center pin on your atomizer is a little bit shorter, you're gonna use a little bit longer of a center pin, but honestly, I rarely change these out. I've maybe changed it out the most today than I ever have while using it, but it fits on there and it works great. Just fantastic, just wonderful, and it just looks, look how cool that looks on there. It's the same sort of matte finish. Ah, ah, I've been loving it. I've been having a bit of a love affair with this. So here's where it's going to get, here's where it gets a little bit sticky, friends. I'm old. $190. Oh, fuck, vape budget hands. That's expensive. $190. $190 is expensive, friends. Um, here's the thing. I, uh, I I love this mech mod. Oh, I just love it. It's definitely going in my favorite things playlist. And over the course of my life in, in vaping, I've used hundreds, hundreds of mech mods, hundreds of mech mods, and this one absolutely stood out to me. If I didn't own any mech mods at all, if I didn't own any mech mods, this would definitely be a top contender. Knowing what I know about it, 
I think about other mech mods that I really like. I'm like, wow, well, the emit vapor stuff, that's really good too. I might, I mean, the shotgun is fantastic. Oh, I really like, you know, this, that, and the other. I really like that, that anarchist mech mod too. That one's really nice. And I'm thinking about all the mech mods I use. This one is constantly at the top of the vape game. Thank you, Blake Vapes. I just think it's a, I just think it's a good, it's a good mech mod. Obviously, in the end, the decision is yours to make. The mod itself is $190. People, stop calling me. The mech mod itself is $190. The atomizer itself is $100. So for the setup of the atomizer and the mod, you're getting up there in price. You're going to need some serious vape budget hands. Um, I would be perfectly happy. The atomizer is good. But I would be perfectly happy using this mech mod with other atomizers. Like, this is a $190 mech, and throwing another $100 atomizer on top of that, it gets to be a lot, you know what I mean? Obviously, like I said, in the end, the decision is yours to make, but personally, I think uh, I think for the money, this is this is just a fantastic, uh, fantastic mech mod. Um, the atomizer, I can kind of leave or take. I really like it, but for the price, I'm kind of like, ugh. I don't know if I ah uh, I don't know if I would buy that atomizer and put it on this mech mod. That's an expensive setup. But what you can do is get a tugboat V1 they're selling for like 30 bucks and a slam cap and uh, or throw whatever you want on here. I don't know. I'm just rambling. I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you so much for watching. It is what it is. It's the dot mod Petrie by dot mod. It's available at localvape.com and I'll post you a link in the description to where you can pick it up if you're so interested. Thank you so much for watching, everybody, and as always, let's keep on vaping. That's enough.